We're looking at the cut surface of an entire lung and uh, as opposed to the normal lung which is usually very light and spongy, this cut surface appears dark, reddish and very solid. And if we were to weigh this lung, it will definitely be above the average weight of a lung. Now if we look closer, we can see that there is this dark brownish discoloration of the cut surface and if we squeeze uh, the parenchyma, there will be some frothy fluid appearing. This is because there is fluid within the alveolar spaces and this is also a reason why the patient will be very breathless because of impaired gas exchange and also may cough out the similar frothy material. Now let's compare the histology of the normal lung, this being a bronchiole and these are all the alveolar spaces with very thin alveolar septa. In contrast, at, in the abnormal red and heavy lung, the alveolar septa are thickened and the capillaries are very markedly congested. And there's also increased hydrostatic pressure, so you can see that a lot of pink fluid has come out of the capillaries into the alveolar spaces. So this is why there is air mixed up with this fluid and this explains the frothy material. So on closer power, again you can see that in the normal lung, the alveolar septa are very thin with just a little capillary here, whereas in this abnormal lung, the capillaries are all markedly expanded, filled with red blood cells. And at even higher power, we can see within the alveolar spaces, these large cells. Now these are macrophages, alveolar macrophages, and some of them are filled with this dark brownish material, which is hemosiderin. This is due to breakdown of blood. And this is a feature of chronicity, which means the process has been going on for a while. And all these features, this dark, reddish, heavy appearing, reddish brown lung, uh, frothy material, and also marked congestion within the alveolar septa and the presence of these hemosiderin filled macrophages. These are all indicative of chronic venous congestion. Here is another example showing you a high power view of these hemosiderin laden macrophages. So there is another name for these. These are sometimes called heart failure cells. So based on what you know about the physiology of the blood flow in the heart and its connection with the circulation of the lung, think about how it is that heart failure gives rise to chronic venous congestion in the lung.